All right, so your name is Reese. I'm Reese. Joe. This is Landon. Yeah. Uh, you saw some of the questions, but is there an afterlife? Do you believe? Know. You I don't? Mean, I do believe there is an afterlife. Okay. It's not, this is all new to me. Okay. This is good. Family. This yeah. is great. Yeah. All right, cool. Cool. Uh, how, not that matter, how old are you? 25. 25. Okay. All right, cool. Um, you don't know. Okay. Um, do you believe there's a heaven and a hell? I do. You do believe in a heaven and a hell? I do, which is interesting because the first which, question yeah, I asked you. Exactly. Yes, yes, okay. All right, do you believe there's a heaven and a hell? You do, do you believe there are real places? Like yes. it's an actual place, okay. okay. All right, cool. All right. Uh, what's your faith background? Like, were you born or uh, raised Roman Catholic? Judaism. Or Judaism. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. okay. This may be a weird question, but like, how Jewish? Like, were you, um, like, Shabbat? Barely like, Jewish, okay. yeah. Um, okay. So, mom, dad, mom was Catholic, dad was Jewish. Interesting. Very conflicting wow. thing. Yeah. So, it would be <laughs> yeah. church on Sundays, after Shabbat on Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Went through all. Kind so, yeah, I mean, okay. for me, it was always my family let me branch out and to curiosity and things like that but yeah I just fell into cool. the world of like um I didn't really need faith you know? yeah yeah so <laughs> I kind of got away from my dad's side with Judaism and my mom's side um Catholicism right met my fiance wow. fell into being curious about this shit, you know? okay what would you say to somebody you know if they said like what must I do to get to heaven like do you, uh, you don't know um, how to it's funny uh I've, I've had a lot of conversations, like we came in Thursday and I don't, I think it's just letting go and kind of trusting God and I'm working on that. Okay. And, uh, I had a conversation with my brother-in-law, said I need to read the Bible to be able to yeah. feel everything. So I guess this work on your faith. Um, I love talking to, to people like you, yeah. Reese. I really do. I, I like, I have a, a heart for you to know who Christ is yeah. and for you to know what the gospel is. Has anyone ever shared the gospel with you? Do you know what I even mean by the gospel? No. Okay. Yeah. okay. Do you believe you're a good person? Like so. relatively, I like I believe I'm a good person. People? Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. My my brother Landon's gonna ask you a few okay. questions, a few questions to put it to the test. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so, do you know the moral law, Ten Commandments? Um, roughly. Okay. Vaguely. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, real quick, last question. Uh, do you believe the Bible is true without error? I do, actually. Okay. I do. That's okay. great. All right. Okay. So, with that. We have to get an understanding of who God is. I want to convince you that you're not good because that no one is good. And it says that in scripture, it says that no one is good but God. So that should kind of get an understanding, okay, if God is holy, just and righteous and perfect and also loving, it needs to come down to a standard, a standard that he's given us, right? And he's given us the moral law, the 10 commandments as to which we are to live. So when we walk through that, we can get an understanding of like where we stand in relationship with God. So if I were to ask you, have you ever told a lie? Yeah. I don't know if he makes me not good. Just even one. Yeah, yeah. It even says in scripture, it says, he who has broken, broken one commandment is guilty of all of them. Yeah. But just looking at that, yeah. and you could just, you could even lie once. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. You're still considered a liar at heart, right? Looking at like three more, have you ever stolen anything? No. Okay, is that a lie? Stole yeah. in a girl's heart. Oh, oh okay. okay. So Jesus uh, yeah. said, okay. if you were lusted after a woman in your heart, you could commit adultery. Yeah. So if you like looked at a woman or pornography or something yeah. like that, or sex in the confines of marriage, have you done that before? Um, yes. Okay, all right, then go ahead. Yeah. Um, He's never stolen anything. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever used God's name in vain? Yeah. Okay. And see, when we do that, we're actually we're actually disrespecting and not giving God his due respect and honor, right? Would you ever use your mother's name as a cuss word? No, right, because we respect our mom, right? But but we don't respect God. We're doing that when we're using his name in vain. That's exactly what we're doing. So in that respect, looking back in the Old Testament, people would actually get stoned to death for, for using his name in vain. Sorry. Yeah. So four out of four. I'm a bad person. Hebrews 9.27 says it's appointed for a man once to die and then the judgment, which means we're all going to die and God is a judge and we're going to stand before him in judgment. Would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. Yeah. Does that concern you? Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because I, you know, I like to lead by example, so right. I'm obviously right. not leading properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way God has created you because you're a man. Right. Men lead, they protect, they provide, they love their wives, they raise their children to fear God. Right? I mean, this is talking about the Old Testament, like Jewish, into the New Testament. Right? 
So, but yeah. sorry, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so do you know what God did for us guilty sinners so that we wouldn't have to go to hell? Absolutely. And Jesus is actually God who had stepped down from his throne and, 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 and came into this world through perfection, right? He, he entered into this world through the virgin birth, which was sinless, right? He was not tainted by sin. And then he led that perfect life, like the sheep being led to the slaughter. If you look back at the Old Testament with the Passover, the sacrifice of the lamb, and put the blood on the doorpost, death passed over them, right? And literally, that's what, that was a, a profession of what was going to happen and take place in the new covenant. That was the old covenant, but it was a foreshadow of what was going to take place on the cross. So essentially what, what Christ did, he's that perfect spotless lamb as God. It has to be God himself. It can't be a, a prophet or a man or a human being. It has to be God in order to do that and appease that punishment we deserve. Um, that's why we're out here sharing that message, just to make sure that this is what happens. Salvation is at arm's length. If you would just repent and turn to Christ. And repentance means you're headed one direction and that's away from God. But God requires all of us to die to ourselves. It says in Luke 9.23, deny yourself, pick up your cross daily and follow after Jesus, right? Because he's God, he's the only one who can save. So we have to place our faith and trust in him, not our works. Church isn't gonna save you. Baptism isn't gonna save you. None of that stuff. Being a good person isn't gonna save you. But Christ, he's gonna save. And so really, think about it in that perspective. Our, our next breath is not promised right and so consider it with urgency right just think about those things and you can yeah is that making sense yeah no absolutely okay good good awesome sorry i'm just uh no yeah no it's good to, to process it but yeah. um i guess my the ultimate question is like when are you going to get right with god yeah. yeah that's the question really i don't even know how to answer that yeah well is tomorrow guaranteed no, yeah, no, I'm absolutely, that's, that's a big reason. And uh, I literally had told my brother-in-law that uh, I can't, I, not that I can't do it, it's just I've had this, like, uh, I'm a very, like, physical person. If I can't feel it or see it, yeah, it's, like, very hard for me to buy into it, I guess. Yeah. You know, the Bible talks about that. Yeah, and he told yeah. me the same thing. <laughs> and, uh, what did he tell you? Um, there's so much. It's been such a yeah. whirlwind. Yeah. So yeah. Thomas is one of the 12. And he says, I will not believe unless I see him. Yeah. That's what he said. And so Jesus said, put your hand on my side. Put your hand, put your fingers in my hands. Look by his wrist, but put your fingers in my hand and see. See and believe. And he says, blessed are those who do not see, yet believe. Yeah, that's what faith is. Yeah. Faith yeah, right. is, you know, having that hope. Things that you don't see. Yeah. Right. And so I guess that's just my hang up. I've just been so uh, about physicality and like seeing things and even yeah. hearing something, you know? Yeah. So uh, that was my hold up. And I'm a very in my head kind of person. So yeah. yeah. That's where like... Uh, do you have a Bible at home? I do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. My fiance required it <laughs> by the bedside. That's a good fiance. <laughs> no, she is. She's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, so do you read it? Um, that's the thing. I, I've i tried. I just so... It's stubborn, I guess. Like, in the way it's like okay. I, if I get bored with something, I go to something else. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, you can ask, I'm an open book about stuff, I guess. Yeah. My yeah. mind kind of wanders a lot, and I get, I want to be in something, and if I'm stuck in it for too long, I just kind of veer off of something else. Yeah. yeah. You can read the Gospel of John. It tells you exactly who Jesus Christ is. Yeah. It's simple. It doesn't go through the genealogy, which is important, but it doesn't go through the genealogy, you know, his birth through Matthew and Luke. And, but that's the easiest one. That's the easiest one to read through and understand. But, yeah. I mean, you know, here's the thing is that you know that God is, is holy and righteous, He's holy, and you're not, right? And if you were to stand before God, God forbid you die today, you'd go to hell. And you said that concerns you, and I'm not, I'm not looking for an answer, I don't care about these cameras, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying yeah. I'm talking to you, Reese to Joe, right? But you will stand before God and give an account for your life. And what are you going to say? I needed, I needed evidence, Lord. You know? yeah. I, needed, I didn't know, ultimately. Yeah. We have God's Word. We have the revelation, right? The world, the creation. So we have the word, we have the Bible, we have creation, and we have Jesus Christ. And so that is enough. And again, in the Bible, it talks about the rich man and Lazarus, yeah. and how Lazarus is in is in uh, is in heaven, 
and the rich man is in hell and he's like begging to go talk to his brothers because he wants them to be saved and at the end of that passage it says that they will not believe they have Moses and they have the prophets is what he says like they have the Bible okay but they will not believe even if a man raised from the dead they still wouldn't yeah. believe it's heavy yeah. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. yeah, that's why we come out here. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. We're not talking about oh, it's hot outside. Yeah. No. What do you think about the weather? No. We're talking about your soul. Yeah. yeah. You know. And that's so. the thing too, is it says like I'm sure everyone's already heard John three sixteen. Yeah. But John three thirty six is key. Yeah. He who believes in the Son has eternal life. Praise God. You believe in the Son. You right. repent and you believe in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. You're not trusting your works. You're not trusting in your church or your fiance's faith will get you there. Yeah. That's not going to happen, right? right? But he who does not obey the Son, right? So Jesus said, if you love me, you'll obey me, right? right? Uh, the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. You know what that means? That the wrath of God remains on you right now. And I say that out of love. There's yeah. a, God is love, but God is just. Yeah. And he's holy and he's righteous. And he cannot look upon sin. And that's why you need the blood of the lamb, right? The Passover story you told you? Yeah. They need the blood to cover them. Yeah. So you can't cover yourself. You can't do it. You can't atone for your own sins. You can't that's do it right. through religious ways. Yeah. Yeah. So. Does that and make sense? And, and, that, that's, yeah. and, that's, and that's key because that's what we need to be saved from. God's judgment. Yeah. It's not hell. We need to be saved from God. Because he's the one that's inflicting that, his wrath upon yeah. sinners. Would you be okay with if we prayed for you? Prayed over yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Uh, do you wanna? Yeah. Right. Do you want me to pray? I'll pray if you want me to pray. Oh right, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we just thank you for for Reese for his openness, yeah. Lord, uh, and just talking with us, and we're able to share the gospel, the good news that Jesus Christ died for sinners, such as myself, such as Landon, and such as Reese, yes. if he puts his faith and if he repents of his sins. So I just pray, Lord, when he lays his head on the pillow tonight, that he would think about his life, uh, that he would think about his fiance, uh, to marry her, to do the right thing, to be the man that God has created you to be, Reese, to be the, the priest, to know the word of God, to be the prophet, uh, to, to preach to your wife and, and bathe her in the word of God, uh, and to be the protector, to protect her physically and spiritually, and to be the provider, to get a job, obviously, you know, a job to provide for her. But Lord, I just pray that you would convict him of his sins, that he would see the serious of what sin truly is and that he would see the beautiful cross and he would see your beautiful son Jesus Christ and what he's done and I pray these things by your spirit in Jesus' name Amen Amen Thank, Thank you, you so much Yeah, yeah. Appreciate really it. appreciate you talking yeah. about it.